the way they fly, be agile, and play mind games all day long assures us that they were born to be. But ever wonder, why do wicket keepers crouch rather than stand like most fielders do? Till it gets over, wicket keepers are always on the firing line. Apart from the balance, the reflex, and hand-eye coordination to be alert and agile throughout, keepers have got a trick under their sleeve. The triple threat strategy, the calm crouch, the power position, and the final fruition. The calm crouch ensures full flexion, complete bending of the knees, a position of rest that gets maximum elastic potential energy stored within the quadriceps. Now, as the ball is delivered, the keeper shifts quickly to a semi-crouch position and then follows it up with a touch and move. This complete sequence is the power position, completed within seconds, where the quads and knee joints quickly contract and relax. Think of the contracted quads like a loaded spring, which, when immediately let go, takes off by optimally converting the elastic potential energy into kinetic energy, helping the keeper catapult across in the final fruition and covering a greater range. Familiar with the paper frog, which when pressed and let go, flies off by making use of the energy stored within the paper fold. This triple threat strategy lets a keeper mimic a frog to grab absolute screamers. Just curious, is it easier for a taller player to keep wickets or the other way around?